guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, July 28th, and it's the last day for me for the Christmas extravaganza for Christmas in July that is hosted by k, &K Crochet. I'll leave their channel. There's a gnat flying around. <laughs> I'll leave their channel links below. They've been putting out videos every single day this month, and they still have some more to go. Like four or five, however many days is left in the month. <laughs> um, where they're sharing gift ideas for Christmas so you can stock up ahead of time. And I have been participating along every Friday this month, so this is my last one, but they still have a few more days, so go check them out. <laughs> Anyways, so this week, um, this particular gift, I made it specifically for my mom, <laughs> but it would be good for other people. Um, and mine's not 100% done. All I gotta do is sew a button on it, and I haven't done that yet, because I don't have any buttons that go with it right now, but I'm gonna find one that matches it better, if that makes sense. But this is a free pattern and it's called Happy Daisy Glasses Pouch by Alexis Middleton. And here it is, duh. <laughs> so it is a glasses case pouch. So here's my glasses. I always try to remember to take it off when I record. So they fit down in there and then there will be a button to snap it on there. And I made it in blue. This is a, I love this yarn, but I don't know what it is because I don't have the ball band. <laughs> and then I used just some red heart, I don't know, this is, um, Big Twist Brown, and then this is Bright Yellow by Red Heart. I made it look like a sunflower. It's supposed to be Daisy, <laughs> but my mom loves sunflowers. This also kind of reminded me of Ukraine because their flags, um, blue and yellow, and also their uh, flower is sunflower, but it just happens to be my mom's favorite. <laughs> um, so I do gotta put a button there. But you basically just make a long piece, it was 14 inches, and this is like a textured stitch. It's where you do a single crochet and then a double crochet all the way down the row and then when you turn you do single crochets in the doubles and doubles in the single crochets <laughs> so I did that for 14 inches worth of it uh, and then you make this little flower part separate and add, and uh, sew it on there but the pouch is made with an H hook which is 5 millimeter and you're supposed to make the flower the same way too but when I did it it came out huge <laughs> so I did go down to an E hook for the petals of the flower so this is still with the H five millimeter and then the E hook is uh, 3.5 I think because uh, I wanted it to be a little bit more smaller <laughs> but uh, yeah so it was pretty easy to make I made it while watching a movie earlier today and I like it a lot this would be good for people with like regular glasses like mine or people who wear sunglasses a lot or if people you know like if they're a crafty person and they have those glasses that magnify things you know like cross stitchers use them uh, people who wear safety glasses, anybody, <laughs> any kind of glasses you can think of would go good down in there. Um, and they fit nice and good. I mean, I guess I have, I guess they're kind of average size, you know, glasses are. <laughs> but, uh, it's just cute little pouch. Worked up super quick. And, uh, it is kind of a lot of sewing, though, if you don't like sewing. Because it's a strip, so you do sew up the sides. I sewed it up and then turned it inside out so that the seam would be on the inside. Uh, and then you guys saw the flower onto it and then weave in all the ends. But um, I think it's cute. <laughs> I like it a lot and I do, I do just need to get some kind of button that matches it. I don't really have that many buttons. I have some like cartoony ones but nothing like plain. And yeah, but I'll do that eventually. <laughs> and then this would be a gift for my mom because she loves sunglasses, sunglasses, sunflowers and she has glasses is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, I will leave this link down below. It is free to already say that on their website so I'll leave it linked down below there and uh, it was pretty easy it was a little um, confusing though the flower petal part I had to do it a few times before I got it right so it might be a little confusing for people who aren't who haven't been crocheting for a while but I figured it out so I'm sure anyone else can <laughs> but uh, yeah I think it's cute be good for like a stocking stuffer or a, you know I don't know <laughs> just a gift to go along with other things I like it. I think it's cute. I'm a little... I wish this was a little bit more centered, but that might have been my own error. <laughs> but uh, I just gotta stick a button on there and then it'll be done and good to go. So this is my last one, I said. I hate that because I love making Christmas videos, but it won't be long before Vlogmas is here and I'll be making tons of Christmas videos. So head over to KK Crochet. I'll leave a link down below. Check out all their Christmas extravagance videos. And then I will see you guys in another Christmas video on Monday. It's the last Deck the Halls collab. And then uh, I'll be drawing the winners from this and that. If you don't know about that, you can enter 
photos of your gift ideas or your Christmas ornaments onto the Facebook page or email them to me and I'm drawing four winners, two from each category, <laughs> um, to win a Notions pouch with some little goodies in it. But yeah, so head over and check those out <laughs> and I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.